all about helping us remember to keep our grades up. What you need are balloons. Find some, inflate them, and toss them up in the air. Set a timer for about a minute, and don't let that balloon hit the floor. Here are some friends to show us how it's done. Welcome to Divine Kids. We hope you enjoy this back to school series. All month long, we're gonna have students sharing the lessons. Um, last week we had Ruben. Thanks Ruben, he's in college. Isn't that neat? Well, I know that I'm not a student, but I do work in a school and I'll be starting to work pretty soon, just like you guys are gonna be going back. But before we get started on our lesson, I wanna ask you a question. These are weekly activities that we do in school and I want to know, do they make you happy or do they make you sad? Uh, how about good grades, bad grades, the playground, time out, working on an art project, working on a science project, working on math problems, reading a new book, a pop quiz, a spelling bee, homework, getting to go home at the end of the day. Every day is filled with good and bad things. Some days, however, can feel like there's way more bad things than there are good. That's why it's important for us to learn to rely on God so that when we are having these days unexpectedly filled with bad things, we can still have joy. I wanna read you a passage in the Bible that's found in Philippians 4, verses four through nine. And it says, always be joyful because you belong to the Lord. I will say it again, be joyful. Let everyone you know how gentle you are. The Lord is coming soon. Don't worry about anything, no matter what happens. Tell God about everything. Ask and pray and give thanks to him. Then God's peace will watch over your hearts and your minds. He will do this because you belong to Jesus Christ. God's peace can never be completely understood. Finally, my brothers and sisters, always think about what's true. Think about what's noble, right, and pure. Think about what is lovely and worthy of respect. If anything is excellent or worthy of praise, think about those kinds of things. Do what you have learned or received or heard from me. Follow my example. The God who gives peace will be with you. This passage reminds us to keep our focus on God and ask him for his joy. It's amazing, really, when you think about it. When Paul wrote this, he wasn't at home or at the park, or at Starbucks, he was in prison, in prison. And yet he was talking about joy and he was telling his brothers and sisters in Christ to be joyful. Joy is not an emotion like happiness. Joy is knowing that God loves us, that God died for us, and that no matter what, no one, no one or nothing can take God away from us. Bad days will pass and good days will pass too, but God's love will always remain with us and so will his joy. In this passage, Paul gives us three steps that we can take to find joy. First, he tells us to remember God. He says, remember who he is and what he's done for you and rejoice in the fact that you know who God is. Thank him, thank him for everything that he's done for you and just praise him for who he is. Two, he says to give all our worries to God. Tell God about your stress, about the things that are making you sad, frustrated, and upset. Give that all to God, all those bad things, give it to him and ask him to give you his joy instead. Three, he tells us to focus on the good, all the wonderful things that you have in your life, such as your family, your church, good friends, or the things that he's already given us that are around us, such as sunshine and rainbows and puppies, kittens, flowers, Oreos, anything that makes you happy that is good. 
anything that is good and pure. Think on these things. When we do that, when we remember all the wonderful things that he's given us, we're able to be joyful. When we have joy in our heart, we're able to share it with others. When you see someone that's sad or that's struggling or having a bad day, you can share God's love with them and you can encourage them to seek God and ask God for, for his joy. You can be used by God to spread joy to those around you. I know, I know, it's not always easy to remember all the things that are good in our life when you're having an extremely bad day, but it is important so that every day can get better and better. The more you practice remembering the things to be happy and thankful for, the more used you'll get used to doing that. And I guarantee that that will help you have the best year yet. Thank you guys. We'll see you next week. Love you.